I want to take you to China with me for just a moment. Now, typically, when we think of China, we think of the mega cities, right? We think of places like Shanghai. By 2030, there will be over a billion people that live in these mega cities in China. But how many of you knew that 52% of China is agricultural land? Beautiful, pristine, completely pollution-free land. It's so serene. It's so beautiful. So our sourcing team goes all around the world. And they're constantly meeting with people. They're constantly investigating new aromatic plants to see what we might want to bring into the doTERRA family. When they came to me and talked to me about magnolia, I had chills, right? Chills was all over my body because I've always wanted to have the, an oil like magnolia. You know I love the flower oils. So this brings it into the family of rose and, and jasmine and neroli. You see how exquisite it is? Don't you just want to go out there and pick a little bit of magnolia there with them, right? It's amazing. So they used to, these magnolia trees grow very, very tall. They used to have to put ladders with scaffolding up to, to pick the blossoms. But now they've gotten quite smart about this. And so now they prune the trees to six feet tall. So it makes it much easier to, uh, to get to the trees and uh, to, to prune them. It takes 5,040 blossoms to produce 15 ml essential oil. Now these blossoms are quite large, so that's actually a very significant amount. My favorite properties of magnolia are the emotional benefits. So if you look at the shape of this exquisite flower, it's easy to identify how it can affect us emotionally. It's opening to the heart, to the mind. It helps us connect to our higher power and reminds us of our purpose. We feel beautiful and radiant when we wear it as a perfume. You'll notice that it was included in the steady blend because it instills confidence in who we are. So I'm so excited for you to fall in love with this essential oil. It's going to become a favorite, I promise. It blends beautifully with oils of sandalwood and frankincense, add a little citrus to it. It's amazing. So let's look at the chemistry of magnolia. Magnolia has the highest amount of linalool in compared to all other flower oils, 71%. So we know that linalool as a, as a terpene alcohol is very calming to the emotions, as well as to the body tissues. So as we now do a comparison, as far as the chemistry with other flower oils, you'll notice that magnolia scores high in the categories, right, of, of uh, balancing uh, the skin, as well as uh, the, the tissues, the gastrointestinal cleansing, uh, immune boosting, as well as for sleep. So it's very similar to the properties of Melissa and helichrysum, other than we're swapping out the digestive help for uh, aid with sleep. And I believe that's because of the high levels of linalool with this, with this essential oil. So how many of you are excited about magnolia? Yes? But we're not done, right? As we talk about these beautiful, exquisite aromas of essential oil, how many of you get tired of rubbing your body with lotion, right, and trying to get it all rubbed in? Any of you? The men are going, yeah, I get really tired of that. How would you like to have a body mist to nurture and hydrate your skin, but wait? How would you like to have this body mist infused with the beautiful blend? I 
I thought you might like that. So we put this in a 360 degree applicator, which means you can spray it upside down, right side up, sideways, right? All over your body. You can spray it right after you get out of the shower. I just towel dry, I spray it on. One, I smell amazing, right? But my skin has been silky smooth. I am in love with this product. Now, Russell Butters, whom you'll hear from on Saturday, is our vice president of US Cells. And we're trying to figure out why this is the product he's most excited about this year. So when you see Russell, and he's a manly man, right? I want you to ask him if he likes it for himself or for his wife, Shelly, right? So we have included in this blend uh, the hydrating benefits of coconut, sunflower, avocado, and passion fruit fatty oils. And it smells, well, beautiful, of course, right? Now, I want to take you with me to Guatemala. Dave talked about Guatemala today and all of the good that has been done there because of you. You have allowed us to lift up communities in Guatemala. But in June of this year, Volcán de Fuego erupted for the second time. You can see in this picture, Jean Marie and Alicia. They are our sourcing partners in Guatemala, some of the finest people you will ever meet. And they are there trying to figure out how we can best assist with the relief efforts. Worldwide, we didn't hear of the devastating destruction of this volcano. It seemed to be a blip in our media here. Yet it destroyed an entire 12 mile radius. Over 110 people were killed, 200 people are still missing, will probably never be lifted from the volcanic ash that laid on the ground. 1.7 million people were affected by this volcano. Now, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words. This picture certainly is the case. I want you to look closely at this picture. Ben Platt, who is our uh, sourcing director for the Americas, shared this with me as he was recently there with Jean Marie and Alicia. You can see the green. And around the green, you'll see that there's a door and a guard standing there. That is the entrance to our distillery in Guatemala. On either side of the distillery, in front and in back of the distillery, is covered in volcanic ash. It was as if there were a bubble, a shield, if you will, that protected that distillery from the destruction that day. I think each and every one of us know why. We understand that the work that is happening here, that these essential oils are not our creation. We understand what they mean to each and every one of us, that there is a mission behind these oils that go far beyond any one of us. When you see here, you can see the distillery in the far left corner, how close it was to that volcano, and yet it remained protected. So we wanted to know how can we better support the efforts in Guatemala and Peru. So we teased you with some pink pepper not long ago, right? I hope you got to play with it. But we held back on some of the science of this oil for today. So first, I want to play a little video so that you can understand what sourcing this new oil means to the people in the poorest regions of Peru. We are very grateful that you have come to Moyabamba. 
We know that our village is very far away, but we have been waiting for you anxiously with open arms. Our families are very grateful that you have arrived. The process to harvest pink pepper is simple. We use a pole to shake the berries loose. We collect the berries and let them dry in the sun. We separate and clean the berries using a ventilation technique. Before Doterra, we weren't harvesting the pink pepper. We are so grateful we have a good bio now. It has created more jobs for the people in our village. We can now educate our children and buy them clothes. Pepper is a superhero, in my opinion. And today we're going to carefully weave through the research and the chemistry in the most compliant way I know how, okay? <laughs> so pink pepper um, is going to give us the greatest benefit as we use it internally, from the throat to the urogenital area. We want to make sure that we're affecting that gastrointestinal system Make sure we're affecting the liver, that we're going through that cardiovascular, the vascular system to get it through our bloodstream and to every cell of our body, right? Let's understand why using this one internally is going to give us the greatest support. Whereas blood pepper is going to give us some amazing benefit as we use it topically, right? Right to support the, the um, circulatory system in the body and of course has some great all body support as well, but pink pepper is pretty special. So first, as we look at the chemistry of pink pepper, I want you to look at the chemical formulations of three, these three compounds. So we have here limonene, which is commonly found in our citrus oils, right? We also have alpha philandrine, that's a new one probably for many of you. We also have alpha-pinene. Alpha-pinene is one of the main compounds that we find in frankincense. They're all existing in pink pepper. Even though alpha-pinene is at a small percentage, about 3%, we mostly want to focus on alpha-philandrine. Now, as you look at these chemical formulas, these chemical structures, you notice that they look almost identical, don't they? There's a variance in the electrons and the, and the hydro, uh, hydrocarbon atoms, but other than that, they look pretty, pretty similar. However, they couldn't be more different in the way they interact with our body. The pathways in which they work, the cells in which they activate, couldn't be more different. And you're gonna hear more about that this afternoon as we have Dr. Talbot present from Roseman University. His research is gonna boggle your mind and we are so excited for you to learn from him. So as we look at oils with um, alpha philandrine, we have blue tansy that has about 5.7%, but our pink pepper has 15 to 30% alpha philandrine. So understand why this is so significant. Let's look at the nature of the cell. 
right? So we look at cell mitosis and the division of the, our cells that gives life, right? And it's so important that this happens properly, that we protect those cells to make sure that they're safe, they're not damaged by oxidation and other things, that there's no unhealthy things going on so that when they're divided, it doesn't continue to populate, maybe mutations and other things over and over again. So as we look at the research behind alpha philandrin, it's amazing in the way it has been shown scientifically to protect and nurture those cells and also cause those cells that aren't healthy to go through cell death, apoptosis, when they're supposed to, instead of continuing to, to divide and reproduce themselves, right? How was that for compliant language, right? Do I get an A? We also see through the research with alpha philandering that it activates those killer cells, right? So that when we're not feeling so well, right, those natural killer cells are going to go out and boost up the body's immune system. It's also going to be a great companion product with aromatouch, right? When we have neuropathic discomfort, right, especially in those lower extremities of the body. Add that in with a little Roma touch, with some heat and massage, and we see some amazing benefits. When we look at the whole of pink pepper, you can see how many different systems of the body that it supports because of its complex and beautiful chemistry. Now, because of the way that it is protective to the cells, it's gonna be an amazing companion product to DDR Prime, right? For those of you who have been with us in past conventions, how many of you have been with us at conventions before? Raise your hand. Yeah. How many of you are here, and I wanna hear really loud, how many of you are here for the very first time? Well, I'll just refresh you on some things that have been talked about on this stage. We had Utah State University speak about research that they have conducted on the essential oils included in the DDR Prime blend and the way that it supports our cells and encourages apoptosis to occur when it's supposed to occur. So an amazing companion product to go along with pink pepper. But the story of pink pepper does not and there. In order to have enough supply, we needed two sources. So not only are we helping people in the poorest regions of Guatemala, where these trees have grown natively, they've created no income for them, they were simply shade trees. And now we get to take them to our distillery in Guatemala and create even more economic stability there. But we needed another source. So it took us to Kenya. You notice Kenya's a little tender to my heart right now. So in November, we were able to visit Kenya with some of my, I was able to go there with a couple of my business partners and some of our blue and presidential diamonds to understand the magnitude of what's happening there. I'm not gonna go into detail because Corey Lindley and our sourcing team are gonna share with you on Saturday all the amazing things that are happening in this country to make sure we have the supply of essential oils we need going into the future. But what we are doing for the people of Kenya warms my heart. So when we were there in November, we were able to put in a water system. As you can see, the face of this woman as we put in this water system that protected them from so many things. As we're able to build up schools and provide education opportunities for their children. And then when I was there again in July of this year, I was able to work with people like Margaret, who has become a leader of her people. She started growing geranium for us. Didn't know how that was gonna work out, but she trusted. 
and she put those starts in the ground and started to have a harvest, making more money than she thought was ever possible. She started bringing her friends and show them how they could do the same. She now leads 64 other women in growing geranium for us. So we wanted to create more opportunity. In Kenya, there are pink pepper trees that have been planted all along the roadside, in yards, to use the shade to protect their ecosystem. But there's been no income generated from them. They're simply used to shade trees. So we're really excited to create this income stream for people in Kenya. Now, some of you may say, oh, I'm sure when you go on these sourcing trips and you meet with these growers, you must go in the best of circumstances, right? It must be pretty luxurious travel. Well, I want to share with you a quick little video of Corey Lindley. And I hope, Corey, please forgive me. I love you. But I captured this on our last trip in July. And I just wanted to share with you how extremely talented Corey is, right? I mean, check this out. He was in Kenya with us for all of 48 hours, and we are going down some of the bumpiest roads, and he doesn't wake up. I mean, that is pure talent, right? Don't you want a person that is as balanced at this, overseeing the finances for doTERRA, right? I love you, Corey. <laughs> but now, I want to play a video for you to really understand the gravity of the good that you're creating through this amazing new essential oil. So if we could play the Kenya video, please. So really what we're trying to do here is to support smallholder farming and agriculture all over the country. Right, and yesterday we, we looked at our pink pepper sourcing and I heard about a story about a woman whose life has been completely changed through sourcing pink pepper. Yeah. So we've changed our plans. You booked a flight last night with, with just hours notice. Yep. And we want to meet her. We want to understand uh, what, what compact sourcing means to her and her family. Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. What happened? A road accident. He, a road. he was going to work at Naivasha there. When Veronica got news that she'd lost her husband, she was pregnant with her fifth child. Meeting Veronica was incredible because we were able to see firsthand the impact that co-impact sourcing has on families in Africa. It was hard to feed my children. I was very stressed and I struggled very much. Yeah. yeah. Life was sad. To provide for her children, she started making ropes from the fibers of plants. She would make about 200 shillings a day, which is the equivalent of two US dollars. As Veronica would take these ropes to sell to shopkeepers, originally they would, they would buy them because they felt sorry for her, but over time they stopped buying her ropes. So she started taking them to truck drivers to see if they would buy her rope. The truck drivers wouldn't buy her rope, but they would buy something else. And she found herself having to give away her dignity and her respect in the only way she had to provide for her children. Veronica and Lucy were friends. They had a common bond because they had both lost their husbands. And as they were sitting in front of the shops wondering what they were going to do to provide for their families, Kigo came and he offered them an opportunity to harvest pink pepper. That's how we met. They were, they were just sitting on the parada of the shop. And I said hi to them. And I said, I've seen a lot of trees here which have got a lot of uh, pink pepper seed on them. Yeah. And I think you ladies, you can be able to do that. He told me, leave this job. It doesn't have money. Yeah. And I told her, maybe try the pink pepper. You might make slightly more than that. He told me some of the children were at home and uh, had them gone to school. Even that day, I gave her some adamant. I said I would cover it from the, <laughs> the seed that would be made. Up. So you gave her a little bit of an advance. Yeah. You to, took a risk on her. Yeah, yeah. And then she delivered some pink pepper. Yeah. The following day, actually, she had like 20 kilos. Really? Wow. The next yeah. day? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Since Veronica started harvesting pink pepper, she now makes 1,500 shillings a day on average versus just two or 300 shillings a day before. I like to work. Yeah. I don't like to, to stay idle. <laughs> and when you, you stay idle, when you gossip, your children will sleep without uh, anything in their stomach. Yeah. yeah. So I, I like to work. Veronica and Lucy are just two examples of the hundreds, if not thousands, of lives that are and will be impacted by the harvest of pink pepper. That's why we do co impact sourcing. It will always be about the individual and how we can make their lives better. That job is good because this time I afford to rent, I afford to eat, I afford to cover my children, my family. That I thanks for Mr. Kigo, and I thanks for you all. I want you to put yourselves in Veronica's shoes for just a moment. She was pregnant with child number five. Her husband worked for the pipeline. Financially, they were doing better than most in Kenya. The company he worked for had provided them a home. They had provided them with clean water. They were doing well. She was a homemaker preparing for her fifth child. As news came that her husband was killed in a road accident. And overnight, her entire life changed. The company that her husband had worked for took away the home. They took away the, way, the clean water access. And she was left destitute. And they wouldn't buy her rope. And she had no other ability to provide for herself. And was forced to give the one thing It broke her heart and soul to give. In order to put food on the table for her children. And to live that way, not knowing how she was going to provide from one day to the next. Is she sitting on the roadside with her friend Lydia, who had found herself in exactly the same situation, wondering what they were going to do. A man by the name of Kigo found them and asked them if they wanted an opportunity to change their life. This man does this every day. For 20 years, he has dedicated his life to supporting people like Veronica and Lydia. This is Kigo. Thank you. This is his first time to the United States, and we are so honored to be here with him today. I appreciate it so much. So, I've been on the ground twice now with Kigo, and I've quietly watched him in action as he loves on the people. He cares more about them than he cares about himself. So I asked him to share with you for just a moment what it means to him to work with people like Veronica and Lydia. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Um, so much that I had to be here today to share my passion for working with smallholder farmers, and especially a lot of them will be women who either they will be orphaned or they have husbands who are not really taking good care of their family. Uh, some are elderly and they don't have any other sort of income. So we have two categories. Some have got small sizes of farm 
and my passion is when I see them that they can drive something to make either just a daily meal or just to take the children to a basic school, like the case uh, Emery in far today. Those ladies, actually, they were just desperate on the road. They didn't have dignity, like she, she said. And today, because of the Dutella sourcing, they are able to make a livelihood. They are able even to take their children to school. So I'm just so happy that this is happening and has really uprooted a lot of uh, giving them hope, which they did have. And for me, that is the biggest, just having hope and knowing that they are part of the art community of human beings. Because before, they felt so neglected. So I'm excited to be here and to meet a lot of these people who are buying this product. It gives me greater hope when I go back to give them the confidence that whatever they are doing in their own small way, they can work hard and they will they be able to earn some decent earning without uh, losing their dignity on a day to day. So thanks so much. Thanks so much, Emery. I'm so, so, so Kigo. When you found Veronica, yeah. you discovered that her children were not attending school because she couldn't afford to pay the school fees. Sure. What was the first thing you did? Uh, when she told me that she didn't have, her children were at home, they had been sent away because she couldn't afford just, I think it was about $3 to pay for the school fees. So what I did immediately, I told her I could give her some smaller advance who she could go back to school and pay for their school fees. And the following day, she could start maybe harvesting pink pepper, who she could be able to recover from whatever proceeds she get. And she was quite happy about that. Her children are all in school now. Sure. Yes, and now she's getting a larger home. She even owns a donkey. Yeah. So she eats like a, a rich <laughs> man, right? Now they have fresh vegetables, fresh fruit. What is exciting, she, like Emily is saying, she's even bought a donkey which she actually uses when she's not harvesting pink pepper. She go fetching water and she supply it to the neighbors at a small fee. So she's not just earning her own, but she's also serving the community to get them uh, water, which is so precious because you, go, you, you have to go for the water for some, quite some distance. So that's quite amazing for what has happened. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. So grateful for you. Thank you. Yes. He is a hero. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kigo. A true thank hero. You. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have many heroes on doTERRA. Kigo's one of my favorites. Yes, thank you for being here with us. Thank you, I'm so much delighted. And you'll see him again on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Great. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah. So, <laughs> now we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Bulgaria. So 11 years ago, in a few weeks, I sat at a small restaurant table with these two visionary men. And we talked about the what ifs, right, that eventually became doTERRA. In that conversation, we talked about having distilleries all around the world that would support small scale farmers. As we went forward in the process of doTERRA, I think some of that dream was, was forgotten, but it was planted in our hearts. So two years ago, when we celebrated the opening of the Esoteri Distillery in Bulgaria, which is a state-of-the-art distillery, it's absolutely beautiful, um, unlike anything you've seen anywhere in the world. Dr. Hill looked at me with tears in his eyes, and he said, Emily, our dream 
dream from so many years ago is coming to fruition. We didn't understand at that point in time what this distillery would mean for so many people. In an area that is the former USSR, where you see empty factories everywhere, we've created livelihood for landowners all throughout this region. We have become the hope of this region in Bulgaria. So as we've harvested lavender and Melissa with some great success, we said, what else? What else is there? So as you look at some of these nicknames, right, can you imagine what essential oil I might be talking about? Any guesses? Well, it is Yarrow. So Yarrow is an essential oil. Any of you know Boyd Truman? Yeah? A few, few of you know Boyd Truman, one of our double presidential diamonds. For years he has begged, Emily, can we please have Yarrow? We've got to have Yarrow. This has been a three-year project as our sourcing team and our management team in Bulgaria have worked with small-scale farmers all throughout Bulgaria to get the starts, the right starts, put in the ground to figure out the right growing conditions, to figure out the right distillation process so that we can have Yarrow. Now, Yarrow, you'll notice because of some of the nicknames, was used by Achilles. They say that he used this herb to rub on his body to protect him from the arrows right, and to protect his battle wounds, and his soldiers would do the same. That's why you see, um, like the, the Knight's Milefoil, some of those, um, some of those uh, nicknames that you'll see with that. So you might say, well, what's so special about Yarrow? Well, let's talk about it, right? So not only am I jazzed about this essential oil, but we have a brand new delivery system ready for you, right? So this is yarrow palm. So it's yarrow and pomegranate seed oil. So this is the packaging that you'll see effective December 1st. It's in a 30 ml bottle. But today, because we knew you couldn't wait until December 1st to have this product, we have a convention preview product for you in a 15 ml bottle, right? Now, yarrow is the deepest color of blue. And that's because of the shimazoline, and it's, it's a very low percentage even in this essential oil. Shimazoline is an amazing antioxidant, it has a greater antioxidant capacity than vitamin C and E. And it's because through the distillation process, that we see it actually changes, right? There's a, there's a reaction that happens that creates that shimazoline that makes the essential oil blue. So that's, when you see blue, just think antioxidant power, right? So as you look at yarrow, you see the emotional benefits of yarrow actually match beautifully the physical benefits of yarrow. So you see that it's purging. Right? It's going to be cleansing. We're going to talk about the physical attributes of that purge in just a moment. It's relieving. It's protecting to broken hearts, broken spirits. And it also protects us from negative energy, negative people, right? So kind of put that over your heart to, as, a, as a protectant there. So it has a compound also of beta pinene. Beta-pinene is an amazing activator um, for the cognitive processes like emotion arousal, memory, through the monoaminergic system. So let's look at how that might work. So basically, right, you've got kind of like these long-distance phone lines that goes from the brain stem up to the limbic brain. It's calling to action neurotransmitters. So it's saying, hey... I'm stressed. I'm here with 20,000 people, right? I'm a little stressed, right? Might be enough as you stand through that security line and they're going through your bottle and they took your, they took your glass water bottle, right? It sends you into fight or flight mode immediately. What they're finding with beta pining 
is it actually balances that fight or flight, right, as we go into that sympathetic mode, and brings us into a state of homeostasis. So when we have those anxious feelings, when we have those stressful situations, a great way to help counteract that. Now as we look at the purging side, right, of the physical attributes of Yarrow, it's amazing as a blood tonic, right? This is the reason that Boyd Truman wanted this oil. Not only promotes the purging of unwanted toxins from the body, but also has been shown to regulate blood vessels tone, which helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels in the body, right? It also has amazing anti-aging benefits. So, you want to see? So you notice with this new system, it's convenient so that you can put it in a capsule or drop it under your tongue or use it for the skin. Now, as I travel a lot, I get very, very dry hands that peel. So this picture was taken just after I got back from um, my trip. I was in Africa for three weeks. And you can see on both sides of my hands, this is a it was probably about a week and a half difference between these, these two. And you can see how it completely changed my hands and brought, brought that moisture back. Now we know that much of it was what was going on in my gut, right, too, as I, as I travel. So not only do we have the anti-aging benefits, but we also have the blood purging benefits that go along with this oil. Fantastic. I've been using it on my face before I go to bed. Yummy. Right, I do blue tansy and with my immortelle serum, and then I add the yarrow palm. Ah, it's delicious. So also included in the chemistry of this magnificent oil, you probably remember this slide from last year because Dr. Hill presented this slide when he was talking about copaiba and beta caryophylline. Beta caryophylline is also found in yarrow. Right? So we have cannabinoids that are found naturally existing within our body. And there are three different types of phytocannabinoids that are found in plants. Now the reason that cannabis oil has become so popular is because of the CBD, right? Now CBD will activate um, the, the CB2 um, receptors in the body, but it's through an enzymatic action. It's not a direct hit. You also are also almost always, in all of the analysis that we've done, always going to get some remnant of THC. Even though they say there isn't any, in all of our analysis, we've never found CBD without THC. And that's where you get those psychoactive effects, right? that activates the CB1 receptors to so your brain, your central nervous system. That's what we don't want. With beta caryophylline, you're actually, it's like a lock and key, where you're locking directly in with those cell receptors, and you're activating that entire endocannabinoid system, which affects all of the organs, all the systems in the body, and is able to create homeostasis and balance within the body. Now, Dr. Hill is going to talk more about this, in greater depth today. So listen up, take notes, right? We're excited about what Yarrow can do for you on so many levels. We're excited about each and every one of these new essential oils and what they'll do. What we want to do is equip you with the tools, to equip you with nature's greatest gifts so that you can care for your body the way you see fit. There are so many companies today that claim that they have the same quality standards that doTERRA has, that they source their essential oils from the same place. Some even claim they have their own farms, maybe, so they're doing a better job than doTERRA. But let me tell you something. One, do the yield map, and you'll know that that's not an accurate statement, and two, no one else is willing to invest, to have people on the ground. Sourcing is hard. It's an investment. It has to be who you are and what you do. 
You have to be committed to lifting up these communities and livelihoods of people to make sure that you have the most pure, the most potent essential oils that are safe to empower you and your families. And we are committed and we will never, ever lose sight of that commitment, ever. So, now, Dr. Hill is going to come in and he's going to tell you about why we have this most amazing new delivery system with Yarrow. So button up. He's got a lot to share. I love you all. It's going to be an amazing three days. Bye-bye.